what's up everybody afik here and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe so for today's video as you can see um this time around uh, i'm doing another speed build uh, video on the sims 4 so for those of you who don't know or um for those of you in malaysia as you know um in malaysia right now um we are entering our mco 3.0 which is the movement control order um in late basically saying that um yeah it's a lockdown here in malaysia so because of that i am unable to shoot any content as um yeah um roadblox everywhere and pretty much everything is closed and the police are everywhere and doing their rounds so because of that i'm pretty much stuck at home so um being stuck at home i decided that maybe i should um start playing my sims 4 again because um i haven't been playing um this game for a while now so i figured since i have the time now and i can't do anything why not just um hop on the game and yeah play some sims so for this time around i wanted to build something that's very close to home so i've decided to create sort of like this um mid-range uh, semi-detached modern style house so yeah um roughly estimated um in malaysia this type of house will cost probably around 350,000 ringgit all the way to 550,000 ringgit so this type of house uh, typically look um it's not really common in the city like you don't really see this type of house in kuala lumpur it's more on like the suburb area or the smaller cities um, around malaysia so yeah so if this uh, uh semi, -detached, semi detached house um it is two story um three bedroom three bathroom living room dining room and a kitchen so yeah um i had fun actually building this um overall it took me around two and a half hours of building this uh, mostly um, it took so much time because i actually don't really have the plan in my head I sort of like just make up the floor plan, um, the floor plan just uh, as I go along. Yeah, so you will see in the video where I try to uh, I try to do a lot of like um, what do you call that errors. You know, like you design something and then you um, what do you call that uh, rub it off, design it again, and then delete it and design it again because I could not uh, come to um, a finalized design. Um, Everything in this game is pretty much a base game, so I did not have any of the extra game packs. This is just basic Sim 4. The only thing that I have inside here that is CC or custom content are the cars. So the cars are made by um, this model that I follow, which is a Lori Sim as well as a Modern Crafter CC. So I will put their link um, to their Tumblr as, or the website um, in the description below. So if you're a sim player and you want really nice realistic looking cars in your sim yeah these two are pretty much um, the best uh, uh, models or content creator for sims 4 cars out there um, so far um, the cars that they make is really detailed and the dimension and the proportion is uh, really good um, and they also launch cars uh, every week so every week you get something new yeah so um, pretty much my go-to uh, models when it comes to cars so back to this build so this type of house is typically seen in the suburb areas in Malaysia um, for this type of house is typically um, on the ground floor is usually an open concept so you will see later on uh, in this video where the living room the dining room as well as the kitchen is connected to each other now um, size wise it is not that big as you can see over there but then um, usually house developers they do give you a very big yard space at the back so if you want to um, sort of like renovate your house you are able to do so with the extra space typically this type of house um, they usually just give you a basic kitchen um, is sometimes there's not even a wet kitchen so they, as you can see that on the kitchen area is really small um, it's typical with this type of house yeah so overall um uh yeah overall i'm quite happy with this design as you can see later on also i only furnish one side of the house because 
as you know with sims um, it gets really repetitive yeah so i just uh, furnish one side of the house sort of like a show house you know like when a developer built a new residential area they usually have like one complete house with all the furnitures inside um show, uh, sort of like uh, a showroom house so yeah um as you can see over there the pillars are quite thick and the modern style that i use here i'm using a uh, the butterfly style roof where as you can see over there the the roof is sort of like a zigzag on top it's not the traditional uh, uh what do you call it the traditional roofing and the windows as you can see over there also is very big um, it's the modern style window typically houses in malaysia will usually have grills on those window as uh, yeah crime rates in malaysia is um, pretty bad it's not something i'm proud of yeah so yeah um if you have any question uh, about this build i'm um, just uh, shoot a comment down below so i might probably um, build more of this since the movement control order in malaysia is going to be for two weeks so i'm unable to shoot any content outside or um, do my other side business as well so for now i'm probably just going to be i'm just going to stay put and probably build a lot more sims so yeah if you if you have any like wish list or you want some um if you want to give me a challenge you know like want me to build something um yeah just just shoot me a comment uh, down below I'll, I'll try to build something you know so yeah enjoy the rest of the video um this video is going to be very long but if you want to skip to the end you can see the finished product of the house yeah so anyways um do take care stay safe for my fellow malaysian uh, the number is quite high right now. We're at 7,000 uh, cases daily. So yeah, take care, stay safe and yeah. Goodbye everybody.